Hi, I'm Helen with Floating Yoga School. This is a slow flow designed to get you back into your body, calm your nervous system, and slow things down. I don't know about you, but I know that daily I feel inundated with do things faster, get more done, be more efficient, whatever it is, and I feel that stress throughout my body. So I'm really trying to tell myself and remind myself this year, and probably the lesson of my life, is slow down one thing at a time we can't really multitask well how can i do each thing i do with intention and do it well and then move on to the next thing so i encourage you as we're moving through this flow to think about your own life and areas where you may be rushing through things where you can slow down and even do less we're going to get started today in a seated position You're welcome to be seated on your shins. If you'd like, like me, on your bum with your legs crossed. If seated isn't comfortable, especially if you have tight hips, you might choose to be on your back or in a child's pose. Really a chance to simply be. So whatever position you choose, I encourage you to find some stillness and either close your eyes or soften your gaze. Just begin to notice what you notice, all the external stuff. You might hear around me the birds, the ocean. Notice the feel of your clothing on your skin. And then start to notice the internal stuff. The depth and length of each breath. Where in your body you feel your breath. Whenever, whatever thoughts, emotions are coming up. We'll start to take longer, deeper breaths in and out of your nose. And if you'd like, turn on ujjayi breath, that audible breath, a slight constriction or narrowing of your throat. And let that slow breath, that slow pace guide you through our practice and through the rest of your day. You can gently blink your eyes open if they're closed. If you're seated with me, legs crossed, switch the crossing of your legs. If you're on your back or in a child's pose, we're just gonna take some side bends. So feel free to find some movement to the side. One hand down, the other arm up and over. In a child's pose, you might reach to one side of your mats. On your back, find a banana shape, arms over your head, arms and legs in the same direction and breathe space into your side body, into your waist and your ribs. Pass through center, take it to the other side, up and over. Find that side body reach and bend with some space. Imagine we have all the time in the world And gently lift yourself back up. Spinal twist, a gentle seated twist to your right. Again, if you're on your back, you can stay there, take a twist. If you're in a child's pose, this might be a thread the needle or meet us in a seat for a twist.
and then move into the opposite direction. And this doesn't have to look a certain way. I encourage you, especially today, as we're moving slowly, to let this be really organic and natural, to kind of come back to your true essence of being, of breathing, and slowly unwind. We'll all meet in a hands and knees tabletop position. Shoulders above your wrists, hips above your knees. Inhale to a cow pose, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, send your heart forward. Exhale to cat, scoop round, tuck your chin. Inhale through neutral, tuck your toes, lift your knees, find a hover. And exhale to a downward facing dog, hips to the sky. We're going to continue to move like that. Inhale, knees down, cow pose. Lift your tailbone, drop your belly, lengthen. Exhale, cat. Scoop and round, press the earth away. Inhale, tabletop, hover your knees, tuck your toes, find that core strength. And exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. One more time through, inhale, cow pose. Take your time getting there, use your full breath, really lengthen it out. Exhale, cat. Inhale, hover your knees. And exhale to downward facing dog. And you can take some time in down dog here to pedal out, move a little side to side. Make any adjustments. You might like walk your hands a little bit more forward. As you next inhale, bend your knees a lot. Exhale, walk your hands back to your feet. So you're in a down, uh, forward fold at the back of your space. We'll take ragdoll, hold opposite elbows, relax your head and neck. And add a little sway side to side. Release your hands, tailbone heavy, knees bent. Roll to standing so your head is the last thing to arrive. Imagine stacking your vertebrae. And at the top, shrug your shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. Adjust your clothing, your breath, your stance. Find a nice, strong, steady standing position. Just breathe here. Notice what your body's telling you. Next, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift forward, high plank, upper push-up. Knees can always lower. I'm going to drop mine. And then lower to your belly. Take it all the way down. Baby Cobra, lift your heart. Hug your elbows in. Exhale, release it down. One more. Inhale, Baby Cobra. And exhale, lower. Press through tabletop to child's pose, hips to heels. Give yourself a moment in your child's pose to fill up your back body with air, with breath, and to release any stuff you're holding on to, physically, energetically. Next, inhale back to your tabletop. Exhale, draw your knees together so they touch. Take your right leg behind you like you're stamping your foot into an imaginary wall. And then exhale it over to your left. Cross it behind you, peek over your left shoulder. Bring it back to center, breathe in. Take it to your right as you breathe out. So it's in line with your left knee. Rise up, inhale, arms to the sky. You're standing on your left knee. Exhale, gate pose, right hand reaches down your right leg, left arm up and over.
Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, left hand down. We'll find a supported side plank. Next, inhale back to your tabletop, hands and knees with your right leg behind you, breathe in. Exhale, left arm out in front. Inhale here. There's an ant crawling up my arm. <laughs> Exhale, release. There it goes. Tuck your back toes, hover your knee. Right leg is still lifted. Inhale to three-legged dog, reach it up and back. And exhale, gently step forward between your hands or as far as you can get and adjust as needed. Sink your hips, breathe in. Stay as you breathe out. Inhale, high crescent lunge, take it all the way up. Exhale, breathe here, hold. Notice where you can create more stability. Notice where you can soften, release, and simply be in the shape without worrying about what's next. One more inhale. Supported warrior three or gentle standing splits as you exhale, hands come down, left leg reaches behind you. Mine's not gonna be very high. My hands are kind of below my shoulders. You might have your hands closer to your foot and your left leg lifted a little higher. Breathe in. Forward fold as you breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold, release. Rise up, reach up. Palms together in front of your heart, breathe it out. Inhale to chair pose. Stay as you exhale. Notice the little things. Your surroundings again, a muscle you can engage, some tension you can release. Whatever it is, give it some time and attention. One more breath in. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step back, high plank, upper push up, or your tabletop, feel free to drop your knees. Use your breath in to shift forward. Use your breath out to lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. And exhale to a child's pose, hips to heels. Inhale, back to your tabletop. Knees come together. We'll take that same little thing to the other side. So this time, left leg back. Take a breath in. Exhale, cross it over to your right. Peek over your right shoulder. And you might take more or less breaths than me. I'm trying to take slow, steady breaths, but that might be too long, or you might want to drag it out even more. Come back to center, breathe in. Take it to your left as you breathe out. Inhale, rise. You're standing on your right knee. Exhale, gate pose, left arm down your left leg. Next breath in, reach your hands high. Breathe out your supported side plank, right hand down, left arm up. Inhale here. Exhale to your tabletop, hands down, left leg extends behind you. Breathe in. Tuck your back toes, hover your knee, breathe out. And then inhale to your three-legged dog, left leg high. Full inhale. Exhale, step forward between your hands. Breathe in. Breathe out. Find that stability, placement of your feet. And then use your next inhale to rise high crescent lunge. some time here to breathe, to feel, ooh, to notice, to fall out. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, supported warrior three or standing splits. You decide how high your back leg goes. Doesn't matter the name of the pose. And even doesn't really matter the alignment as long as you're not hurting yourself. We get so caught up in what's right or what we have to do. Those external markers. Tune back into what you need. 
what feels best for your body. One more inhale and exhale, release. Feet together, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Heel toe your feet wide. We'll take Malasana squat. Heels and toes out, sit low. Bring your hands to your heart. I am Sandy. <laughs> Lengthen your spine. Open your chest. Find one more inhale. And exhale, gently sit down for your butterfly cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana, soles of your feet together, knees wide. Lift your heart, breathe in. Fold forward as you breathe out. You can let your head and neck go. You can keep your spine long. And then gently lift for boat pose, Navasana, knees together. A little lean back. Hold your thighs to lift your shins. Stay there or reach your arms wide. Maybe if you want more arms to the sky, legs straight. Find a full deep breath. Exhale, release. Wrap your arms around your shins. Relax your forehead to your knees. And then notice what else your body needs. Give yourself the time to take any last shapes that might be from your seated position, that might be coming down to your back or onto your belly. And that might be pressing pause on this video and just taking your time to finish out your practice however you like. I'm gonna end in a seated meditation. You might choose to be more in a classical or traditional Shavasana on your back. I invite you and encourage you, whatever you decide to take, to really allow some stillness. It doesn't have to be long, even a minute is a great chance to reset. So once you've taken all those shapes, once you've found that position, let yourself be in it. Eyes soft or closed. Body receiving breath, receiving energy, and integrating everything that you just did. All you have to do here is breathe. Continue to notice, observe, and allow whatever it is that's coming up to come up and to gently release. You are more than welcome to stay as you are, as long as you like. Really soaking in the slow flow, the chance to be present, to be in your body. Or if you feel ready to move on, little movements, wiggles, fingers, toes, head, neck, maybe some last stretches. And if you're elsewhere, come to a seat. If your legs are crossed, switch to the crossing of your legs. Pause for a moment, palms together in front of your heart, and identify one area in your life where you can slow down, maybe do less, or simply be more present in the moment without thinking about other things. And let that carry you off your mat today and into that area of your life. And we'll bow our heads together in silence.
And I thank you as always for sharing your energy, your time with me, sharing your love. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. I always love to hear from you and I hope that I see you soon.